This LOS is calculate and interpret quartiles, quintiles, deciles, and percentiles. Quartiles, quintiles, deciles, and percentiles. We know that the median divides the distribution in half. We can define other dividing lines that split the distribution into smaller sizes. Quartiles divide the distribution into quarters. Quintiles into fifths. One quintile equals the 20th percentile. Deciles into tenths. And percentiles into a hundredths. Given a set of observations, the yth percentile is the value at or below, that's the keyword below, which y percent of observations lie. The formula for the percentage, uh, per position of a percentile in an array with n entries sorted in ascending order is this. It's Ly equals n plus 1 over y to the 100. So this is the key point. You have to understand the y. y is the percentage point at which we are dividing the distribution. If we're dividing into quintiles, then y equals 20. If we're dividing into quartiles, then y would be 25. If we're dividing into deciles, then y would equal 10. As long as you can get your y right, the answers become uh, uh, pretty easy to several questions because n is easy. n is just the number of observations, okay? n is the number of observations. So it's just understanding that uh, quintiles is 20 and that's what your y is. Other measures of location, quantiles. When ly is not a whole number or integer, ly lies between the two closest integer numbers, one above and one below, and we use linear interpolation between the, uh, those two places to determine the py. So investment analysts use quantiles every day to rank performance, for example, the performance of portfolios. The performance of investment managers is often characterized in terms of the quartile in which they fall relative to the performance of their peer group. So they are in the top quartile. So the Morningstar Mutual Fund uh, star rankings, for example, associates the number of stars with percentiles of per performance relative to similar style mutual funds. In general, uh, the order from smallest to largest would be first decile, first quintile, first quartile to median. So you can see we're starting from the first, that's smallest, up into the largest. We're going to finish this LOS with a practice problem. So the following table shows the volatility of a series of funds that belong to the same peer group, ranked in ascending order. So we have uh, 13 funds. And the value of the first quintile is closest to A, 10.7%, B, 10.84%, or C, 11.09%. Okay, the correct answer is A, and we're going to work through this. There's a long explanation to the answer on the right-hand side here, but don't be too intimidated by this. This question is actually quite easy. But the first thing is you have to have that formula memorized, Ly equals N plus 1 times y over 100. Then, as I said, the question is asking for quintile. So you have to remember that quintile is talking uh, y equals 20, okay, quintiles. So that's going to correspond to the 20th percentile, which is the first quintile, okay? And then it's really easy for our n. We know there's uh, that says fund 13, so n equals 13. So the formula becomes quite easy, actually. Uh, L to the 20 equals 13 plus 1, n plus 1, times 20 over 100, and we're going to get 2.8. So you can see what they were saying is that's not a whole number, okay? So what we need to do then is that the location of the first quintile is between the uh, volatility of fund 2 and 3. So it's going to happen in between here, okay? In between here. So we can see B has to be wrong because uh, that's 10.84. Uh, it's not 10.84. It's going to fall between 10.12 to 10.84. It's going to be somewhere in between the two. So that one has to be wrong. Oh, by the way, look at C has to be wrong because that's not in between the two numbers as well. So it has to be A, okay? We knew that it was A. We didn't have to go on and do this interpolation 
because um, you know the the numbers uh, it just had to be 10.7. Now, if they gave us three choices and it was 10.7 and 10.5 and 10. Point, uh, you know four something, well then you'd have to finish off and do the interpolation. And how do we do that? Uh, here's the formula down here, and it's going to be the 10.12 percent plus 2.8 minus 2 times 10.84 percent minus 10.12 percent, uh, and that equals 10.7 percent. But as I said, sometimes you have to look. This is the full math, uh, but you know that just having done the first calculation, it's happening between the second and the third, 2.8 between the two and the third, and it sounds 2.8 is closest to the third, so you can kind of guesstimate that it's going to be A. B is wrong. It can't be on the number, and C is beyond the scale. C is happening way up here, 11.9. That's somewhere beyond fund number four. So this question is quite easy. So that's the last slide for this LOS. Uh, thank you.